I combined all five colors of Magic the Gathering to pairs of three. And then I took these colors and I put them into a friendship tier list to see where they would go. And if you watch this video, you could learn something about yourself. For example, uh, let's say your color combination shows that you're stupid and that you hate fun. Or it could show that you're smart and a good person. Uh, but stick around to find out. All right, so Mardu. Uh, Mardu is you take the aggressive army of Boros, which is white and red, and then you put black into it. And what do you get? You get an aggressive army that commits war crimes. So basically, Mardu s says the Geneva Convention is just a suggestion. Strengths. Uh, Kali, one of the most played commanders. And then, which is cool, I guess. And then this. Uh, and then war crimes as well. It takes the army making ability of white and then it combines it with whatever the heck Rakdos is doing. And I can assure you that leads to war crimes. But it makes war crimes fun. Uh, unlike other colors that just sort of make it like horrible. So basically, you know, they shoot arrows everywhere. They have butcher of the horde, you know, demons that just kill all your allies. They just say, you know, let's just have fun with it. If we're going to commit war crimes, you know, let's just be fun. Uh, some people may think it's just combining Boros and Rakdos. This is, in fact, not true. Boros is an uptate army, and then Rakdos is a fun cult. But when you combine them, you get a fun army rather than an uptight cult, which is really amazing. And don't worry about where Orzov fits into this. That's not really relevant. Uh, yes, they may commit war crimes. Each one of these people is a horrible person, and they've done horrible things. But they have fun doing it, and just... That's just inspiring. I don't care who you are. All right, on the friendship tier list, easy A tier. Absolutely great people to hang around. All right, Jessica, blue, red, and white. Hates the most fun part of Magic the Gathering. It only cares about non-creatures and being reactive. That's totally stupid and dumb. So you take you the fun of red, and then it puts the not fun of blue into it. And then I'd say it puts the not fun of blue into white, but white already is useless, so it's, it just doesn't make any sense. And it can't act on its own, too. That's just one of the things that sucks about it. So it's completely dependent, and it can't take its own action. So let's say it's like a supermarket. Uh, here's what the player would be doing. They'd be doing this. They'd be looking around for their mother because they can't act on their own. They're not dependent, uh, and they're just stupid. Unfortunately, you have to be their mother. Let me explain. All right, so they just have a bunch of instant cards in my hand, and then you play a card, and they say, I have a response. They would literally do nothing if you did nothing. All right, on the friendship tier list, that's an easy F tier. I, I, I have nothing else to say. Timur, you have some of the best color combinations and then some of the worst color combinations. So you got to wonder, how could this turn out? It's amazing. It's like combining the two best color combinations and then just throwing the other one away. Like... You've got the big creature, big smash of gruel, and then you have the growth of, what's it called again? Eh, who cares? And then you just get whatever the heck this thing is. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool and awesome, and I want it to be my friend. All right, so weaknesses, none. It, look at the colors. It's, it's actually perfect. Strengths, literally everything. It has the ramp of green. It has the card draw of blue, and it has the aggressive power of red. Like, there's nothing not to love about this. So white is useless anyways, and we don't need a sacrifice to get what we want because we have everything that we want, so we don't need black. So it just has the best combination. On the friendship tier list, that's an easy S tier. Bant. Uh, so whereas Temur took the blue and green and it combined it, and it grew into being aggressive with the red right there, Bant takes the other approach and says it grows into being defensive. Uh, here's what B Bant players think games should be like. This. They think Magic the Gathering is a game of solitaire, and it's very annoying. Uh, Chaloon is a great example of this. He just draws cards and ramps, and he makes green players look like they're blue players and that they don't know how to have fun. Uh, no offense to the blue players. My, my, this, this. All right. Uh, the average turn, just like in Commander, would take like two minutes. Uh, the average Bant turn takes like ten minutes to do all the stuff they need to do. And here's the crazy thing. They're just playing solitaire. So why don't they just play by themselves and leave everybody else alone? But no, they have to go outside and talk to people and just find fun to ruin. All right, yeah, that's just, just put in the F tier. doesn't belong anywhere else. All right, Grixis, just kidding. It's Boros. Uh, uh, Bolos, Bolas, you, you know what I'm saying. It's Bolas, and I refuse to believe it's not safe. Strengths, cruelty. It, it literally has a card called Cruel Ultimatum with Nicol Bolas in it. Uh, and then this is just absolutely horrible. And that's another entire video. Uh, controlling people against their will. Uh, that's one of Bolas's abilities, and you take all the colors that can kind of do that by themselves, and, you know, it's it's kind of messed up. But also, they're good at being pretty rad. He may be a horrible person, but he's pretty cool to hang out around, so Bolas is pretty awesome. 
It has a lot of gameplay plans. Uh, you don't know what they'll choose, but it might be probably something messed up. All right. It could be discarding cards and making you do just horrible things like that. It could be stealing all your stuff or something like that. Or it could be some other BS. Uh, the point is, on the friendship tier list, uh, I'll put it at a D. That's a little generous, but, you know, it's not a, it's not down here, you know. All right, Esper. Uh, yeah, that goes into the F tier. Uh, all right, fine. I'll justify it if everybody gets mad at me. Look at this. Look at this. Now look at this. Now look at this. And I want you to tell me for two seconds that this belongs anywhere else after looking at this. Uh, case closed. All right, Sultai. It takes Golgari and it combines it with the card draw of blue, which is absolutely amazing. And then it also has one of the most popular commanders too. That's, that's neither here nor there. So Sultai looks at a bunny and says, I'm going to kill that thing so I can bring it back to life, which brings up one of the negative sides of this colors combination. Is it really trustworthy to trust the person whose entire personality is based around bringing the dead back to life? Will they kill you? You have to think, will they have, have they killed other people? You know, you just got to think about these things. Maybe I'm being racist to Gorgons in this next slide here, but hear me out. Let's say you see this sitting on a throne and then you walk in. Is your first thought really going to be, huh? I don't think this person is going to kill me. Like they literally have glowing red eyes. Like, I, I don't think I'm being racist to Gorgons here, right? That's that's not... All right, let me know down in the comic section. All right, in the friendship tier, let's see. Uh, they could be really cool. They could be really bad and kill you. The point is, you just don't know what they're going to do. It's the same as Golgari. All right, Abzan. So, well, Sultai took Golgari, and it combined it with blue to make something really cool, uh, which was useful. Uh, what Abzan does instead is it takes Golgari and it combines it with white, which is absolutely useless and does nothing to help you in any way, shape, or form. All right, it's just wa watered down Golgari, which is a little ironic, I know, but I'm not going to get into that. All right, so you take black and green, and let's say they make a group project. It looks really cool. They worked really hard on it. It looks great. Then you have white, who has done nothing for the entire group project, and then goes, don't worry, guys, I'll help at the last second. And then they just draw a stupid little mustache on it. And guess what? Now they're angry because White just ruined the group project. They would have helped more had they literally just stayed out of it. That's what I'm saying. All right. And then they have that one cool thing they did. Like, guys, remember we had Siege Rhino? And, you know, I just don't care anymore. I just don't. It, it just goes in the E tier. I'm not going to put it in F. It's not that bad. But, you know, there's, that is not fun to hang out around. Side note. Uh, I'm switching around the white and blue rankings for my previous videos. This is because I did not, in fact, have to make a video explaining uh, all the, the fact that my video is just a joke to the blue players, and I did it for the white. So, yeah, thanks for being cool blue players. And white players, this is what you deserve. All right, Naya. Okay, this one's pretty all right. It's got big creatures that get you big creatures. That's If that's not cool, I don't know what is. I don't know how they made white work in this, but it's, it's pretty cool. And get this, guys. Get this. It even takes some cards, and it makes white's stupid army-making ability actually useful. Like, that, that's impressive, I got to admit. So strengths. It has green and red, which I think is it's probably the best strengths to have in a color. Weaknesses. It has white, and that sucks. So, yeah. All right, on the friendship tier list, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on an A. It just got the big creatures, which are cool, and I really like that, so it's A tier. Jund. You got red, you got green, and you got black. Aggressive, kill stuff, and it's big. But what more do you need? All right, so when you look at the colors for the representation of it, it's black, red, and green. B, R, G. And then, but if you take those letters and add a few more in, you get the word burger, what do we know about burgers? They're big, like green. They're spicy and hot, like red. And they can kill you if you eat too many, similar to black. And Jund is just a burger. And burgers are absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah, also they have, this is unimportant, but they also have some cool cards. I just thought I'd mention that. I know nobody cares about that part. Uh, on the friendship tier list, they go into B for burger. So, yeah. Uh, only 0.1% of viewers are subscribed. So if you can subscribe, it's a big help. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.